Hey everybody, what's up? It's Dom here back once again. Lately, you guys might have seen a couple of videos where Arma has been looking just drop dead gorgeous here. Uh, I've done a couple of videos also with my ops um, and having them with a couple of different uh, reshade presets here. I was showing you guys how to kind of get them set up in some different presets you might want to use. Uh, about five of the best ones I've really been using here and there. Um, whether it be for gameplay or cinematography. All right, let's just jump straight into here. I wish I had like a cool little 2011 intro to play, but we'll just next next slide. All right, first off, let's do some housekeeping here. You're gonna wanna have Reshade and Real Light 8, all right? Real Light is in particular for the first preset I'll show you, which a lot of people um, have been messing around, messing around with and saying it's probably one of their uh, more favorite ones. But you really won't get a feel for what is your favorite until you kind of start tweaking around in the settings and seeing what different reshade options you want to have there. Uh, I'm going to have a link down below on how to get reshade set up, but it's a pretty straightforward process here. So we're going to skip over that to kind of save some time. All right, everybody, we are here. Uh, for this in particular mod, I'm using the U.S. General Equipment and Accessories along with Faces of War and Iron Front here. Now, keep in mind, uh, your game will look different also depending on the environment, depending on the map, uh, the quality of the textures. Um, for my uh, settings in particular, also, I recommend turning VSync on because um, it's helped a lot with the GPU if you guys are worried about your GPU overheating. Uh, so I do recommend turning that on, but it may work better if you have it turned off in terms of uh, gameplay, performance, and optimization there. So like I said, tweak it around there to your liking. So the first setting here is the what I call the Hotch setting uh, that's been going around that a lot of people have been liking. And so with that, if I hit the home key here, open up our little reshade menu. Uh, it's mostly gonna be focusing around the Arcane Bloom, the Multi-LUT, the MXAO, and Cinematic uh, DOF here. Uh, the Cinematic DOF makes it just look better than it really is. If we turn it off here, then um, you'll see it's just Arma at the end of the day, uh, but with the little darkened reshade over it. So the Cinematic DOF definitely helps there for cinematography, but not as effective in gameplay standards there. Um, so it may be better to turn it off there when you're playing if you still want that Hotch setting look there. Next up I have what's called the Borderlands setting. It makes things look a little bit more comic booky. Uh, it's really nice there in particular for like Star Wars and Fallout stuff. Uh, but even in World War II, this looks pretty nice. Like I said, these are all preferences of how you guys want to essentially play the game. I call this one the high quality. It adds a little bit more sharpening to the textures compared to the... Um, initial one here the Hotch one so it's kind of a comparison between the two actually I'll turn off cinematic DOF for that one and then we'll go over here so it also brightens it up a little bit more which is nice next up I have the loading setting here if you guys ever uh, see loadings little screenshots um, for this one I turn on the global illumination there it's kind of like a fake RT uh, uh, ray tracing there and the filmic pass also for the last one here, we have just the normal uh, Real Light 8, which is the like default one uh, with just the multi-LUT. A little bit different than just using the uh, Hotch ones there, makes it look you know a little bit more grittier here with this one. What it boils down to though is your guys' preference and how you'd wanna play. Um, definitely keep in mind of how it'll look during different lights. Here's the back view of our soldier here. As you can see, when I hover over things with the cinematic DOF, the depth of field here, it definitely makes it seem better than it is, I'll say, um, which is really good for the cinematography. But in terms of if you're wanting to play, it might not be the best there as you won't see a lot of objects within the distance and you're trying to shoot there, particularly in Arma. That could be a bit of a pain. Here's a look from the Borderlands. Also seeing like the sharpening of the road here. Turn that on and off. Here's back to our high quality look here. This is personally a favorite one that I like to use for a lot of ops. The loading setting here looks pretty good with World War II in my opinion, especially on the beach. And then last, the real light uh, eight right here. Anyways, everybody, if you have any questions or anything, uh, I didn't mess with any of the um, like global preprocessor def definitions, by the way. I'll say that if you guys have any questions or need any help leave them down in the comments and we'll sort those out if you guys have any presets also um for reshade that you guys mess around with leave them down below uh and tell me what you guys look best or would even look uh better than these ones that i've been messing around with here 
Other than that, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Help out the algorithms. Help out small YouTuber man. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Peace out, guys.